What's up, everybody? It's your boy, English. We here with the Crypto Nation, and I wanted to talk a little about a little bit about um, people's emotions in this game. You know, when it comes to earning, um, when it comes to earning money in cryptocurrency. Uh, uh, you know, using via these platforms like Facebook and, and YouTube and stuff like that, to, uh, you know, to see what things are good out there to invest in and stuff like that. When it comes to this game, there are so many different types of people in it that occupy the space. And I find it funny that it's just how some people will attack others uh, based on their investment style and stuff like that and whatnot. And when it comes down to to uh, to particularly these two options, BitConnect and Regal Coin, it's it's a funny, funny dynamic that I see going down now, um, and it feels almost like a deja vu. I remember months ago when first starting to get into BitConnect talking about it as I was learning about it and seeing the attacks at full skill going on uh, on the people who spoke up to say anything remotely decent about BitConnect. Um, it still happens today, um, but I find, it, I find it interesting that even though that happened with BitConnect, all of the slander, all of the you know the bad mouthing, and um, for anybody who's involved, I find it very, very strange um, that it's happening again with this coin, and some of it and most of it's coming from people who actively defended BitConnect and are still defending BitConnect uh, to this day, based on what we have seen and what we have been shown um, to date. You know what I mean? Nobody can say BitConnect is a scam and prove it. Nobody can say they're not and, and prove it. Um, it's working. BitConnect is doing what it says it was going to do, what it said it was going to do. It, it is following every step to a T about what it's trying to do. Um, it's doing it. So you can't blame them and say they're a scam because they're not doing what they said. They're doing exactly what they wanted to do. Um, but in the beginning for BitConnect, people said all those nasty things. And there were people that still defended them. And we see where they're at now. With Regal Coin, I, 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 find it, I just find it a little weird that some people are shunning the the regal coin it doesn't even matter if it was a regal coin or, or whatever it was um it's almost like they're they're shunning it and i don't know if it's because of i don't know if it's because of their loyalty or i don't know if it's if it's because of loyalty to bitconnect or if it is i don't know what it is but from day one i've always said you can't have, don't have, keep your emotions, you know, out of crypto. Meaning that, I mean, you just got to be, you got to de detach emotion. These things aren't, aren't ours. We didn't create them. We're just using the platform to, to get a monetary gain, to gain something. I don't understand why people have such emotion attached to these cryptocurrencies as if they own them well or you know they built it you know they they're headed it you know they've they've created it you know what i'm saying like regal coin is simply setting out to do what bitconnect did not when it first came out and they're attempting to do everything that bitconnect is doing but do it a little better I don't see what the problem is with that, especially in a space where we're used to seeing forks of forks of forks of forks of forks of 
cryptos. I mean, how many forks of Dash are there? How many forks of Bitcoin are there? How many? We, there are all kinds of alternate coins out there that are attempting to do a better job than the original. It doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. It doesn't necessarily mean that they'll be better. But there are always going to be competition that comes out that attempts to do a better job than someone else. That's what Riga Coin is attempting to do. Um, their business model, everything is is basically BitConnect. But I see BitConnect people shunning the coin like, uh, it's an ICO. I don't do ICOs. Hey, I don't really do ICOs either. I put money in there to try to get some coins. But if I don't get any coins, okay, then I don't get any coins. Simply just going to use the system just like I do BitConnect. You know, my man Jedi Knight said today that the videos that he's seeing of Regal Coin have nothing to do with Regal Coin or how Regal Coin works. All he sees is everything that has to do with BitConnect. Well, that's probably true because that's what Regal Coin is attempting to, that's the space that they're attempting to get in. There, there hasn't been another BitConnect. Now there is another competitor that is like BitConnect, offering the same types of services as BitConnect. So, of course, and naturally, people who are talking about Regal Coin are going to talk about BitConnect, compare it to BitConnect, because there's no other platform or option out there that is like BitConnect besides this one. And it is in ICO form. If I were to, if I were to go back and have, an, a, have a, a chance to get into the ICO of BitConnect, I would have done it. <laughs> Knowing what I know now, I would have done it. But I didn't even know at the time what BitConnect was. Didn't even know that they were out an entire year just doing the lending platform without a coin. Didn't know that. Didn't know they had an ICO. Didn't know. I didn't know that. So now that I'm in the game and I'm starting to see newer things, here comes a challenger. And there's a chance to get in early, like BitConnect. People are saying the same things to BitConnect about BitConnect. It's a scam. It's a Ponzi, blah, 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 blah. You're going to take your ICO money and run, blah, blah, blah. They haven't showed us anything, blah, blah, blah. And the same people are still talking shit about BitConnect. Every single time something happens, oh, the site went down. I guess you know what they're going to do. They're already halfway to, you know, halfway around the world. They're running with your money. And then they come back. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, we'll wait till the next thing. You know what I'm saying? It's always something else. Like those people will never be satisfied. They're always going to be waiting for the downfall of BitConnect. With Regal Coin, I just see a simple opportunity to get in early and do my part in exposing what it is because I didn't have a chance to know what BitConnect was at the time. You know what I mean? So um, he did a really good video. He talked a little bit about it. He didn't name the coin um, by name, um, which is all good. I mean he can do whatever he wants, you know, that's his channel, you know, um, and, you know, I don't know, but I don't think it has anything to do with his, um, his, um, you know, I don't think it's a conflict, I don't know, maybe it is a con conflict of interest if he talks about Regal Coin now. Um, one reason why I would never, that's one of the reasons why I would never want to be under somebody's, like, you know, thumb, as far as like promoting and stuff like that, because uh, conflict of interest. Um, so I don't know if he doesn't want to name the coin and talk about it because of that reason or whatnot, but he does a really good job of explaining things. I would really seriously like to see him actually look into it. He said he's not going to until, um, you know, it's out of ICO phase. Uh, I can't wait for them to actually get out of ICO phase. I just want the damn thing to start up so I can start making some money. 
Um, but, you know, this whole thing, like I said, again, with, uh, with BitConnect and, and Regal Coin, the same people talking shit about BitConnect are the same people now talking about Regal Coin. I mean, they're going to go through there and pick out every little thing. Why didn't they pick this server? Why did they go with cheap.com? Why, did they, why didn't they go with a, a better web hoster? Why didn't they do it? Why is their icon so small? Why didn't they make it bigger? I think it's a scam because their icon is small. Who would choose an icon like that? Why, are the art, why is the artwork like that? Why, why did they do this? Why did they do that? I don't like this. I don't like that. Therefore, it must be a scam. It's the same people talking mad shit about BitConnect, saying the same thing about this. Same people. It's just like, it's like fuel for their fire. They have nothing else better to do. They're obviously not making money. So they got all that time to talk shit. But all I'm saying, guys, is earlier there were some YouTubers that I found today who I like. Um, some of them were actively live streaming and saying the site's down. Oh, my God. They're running away. Regal Coin's running away. And I'm sitting there thinking, guys, they have so many people trying to buy into this ICO. Today it went down in like three minutes. The sale was done in three to four minutes. I was on the site trying to buy, and every time I hit a button or refreshed, it just 404, 404 error, error, error. It was so many people fl flooding the site, waiting for that buy, that buy sale to start. It shut down the system. But then you got people freaking out live streaming saying you know, they're down they're down i was telling the guy dude retype in the url and try it again just stop hitting refresh on the eric page it's not going to do anything for you he's saying no no it's down it's down i'm on my phone as i'm watching the live stream and i'm just like dude i'm logged in from my mobile right now <laughs> you know what i mean the functions isn't working because they're upgrading the system as you can see they're upgrading the system so they wouldn't let they won't let you like, you know, activate people and stuff like that while the system is being updated. But there's too many scared people in crypto, man. There's way too many scared people. There's too many scared people in crypto. I mean, one thing happens and they freak out and like the world is ending and you know, it's it's crazy. If you're going to be freaked out by every single thing that comes across in this crypto space, you're, you're, you don't need to be in it. You're too sensitive. If you're not interested in using Regal Coin or interested in using BitConnect, don't use it. <laughs> don't even look at it. Just don't even use it. Don't associate yourself with it. Don't pay it any attention. Don't give it your energy. You should be using that energy for something else, like making money with something else. But these platforms are here for a reason. They're here to serve people who like what they offer. If you don't like what they offer, don't pay it any attention. That's all I'm going to say. Appreciate you guys. Catch you all in the next video. I'm out.